DC's downtown areas received an additional boost in the 80s as a slew of local theaters opened their doors. These little companies started springing up because downtown was so empty that they could get space cheap. Uh, the Woolly Mammoth uh, and the studio theaters opened on 14th Street. 14th Street sort of became the center of uh, alternative theater. But at first, residents weren't convinced. I would go over there to watch some of their shows. Uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 people in the audience, plus the actors. But in time, people's reluctance to come downtown eased, and Washington began its rise to America's second city of theater. Washington was like that. I mean, it, it had certain kinds of um, cultural uh, niches, if you will. I'm a Washingtonian, and the first, the first theater I ever saw was from the top balcony of the National. As Washington's theater scene gained countrywide attention, it established an award named in honor of one of the city's most acclaimed daughters to recognize local theatrical excellence. The great Washington Post critic Richard Coe uh, called on his friendship with Helen Hayes, and together they created the Helen Hayes Awards. And once the Helen Hayes Awards started, more companies started popping up. By the end of the decade, Washington was on the same playing field as uh, Chicago. The region's growing interest in the arts was exploited by Washington's TV affiliates, still hungry for novel programming. The king of the critics in Washington, D.C. was Davy Marlin Jones. Davy was one of the most interesting people I had ever met. There may be something there. Davy wore hats. He also pushed the envelope with his clothes. He pushed his envelope in every way. Tight, taut, tense. Davy owned this town. Inside the theater called Light. A popular Davey format Martin, that uh, encouraged imitation. Every station in town had a critic, and it was because we were all trying to compete with Davy. It was one of the great gags of local television. When he finished his report, you didn't know if he liked the movie or not. <laughs> Hope you find one cinematic sparkler among them. Davy Merlin Jones. For more clips and to watch the full program, visit weta.org slash decades.